Drink and smoke if me feel like Blink them girl if me feel like Blink my friends if me feel like If me feel like Bad people need bad people around them All right, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I already have most of my face mapped out of where I think things are going to go. I used a white eyeliner for that. But now I'm just filling in the eye area with some Mayron Paradise paint in the shade black. This is water activated paint, so all you have to do is add some water to it and it becomes this beautiful creamy consistency that's easy to work with. So I'm just filling in the eyes and next I'm going to be moving on just to map out a few areas with a little bit of dark colors. Don't worry if they don't look perfect now. You're going to be going over them with stuff anyways afterwards. So now I'm just using another water activated paint from Graftobian and this is just going to outline where the actual teeth are. I'm not doing too much with them right now because we'll come back to them. Using another water activated paint, this is from Wolf FX, I'm just filling in these side areas with the yellow and we'll come back to those as well. Next I'm using the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm going to use a few different shades. First we're starting off with this green and this is a grease based paint so it's a little bit different than the water activated and I did that because the colors will blend easier together. So I'm just placing the first color of green all over the face, any areas where I would really like that color to be, but then also I'm going in with other colors as well, like the yellow. So the main colors of this Rastafari look are going to be the green, the yellow, and the red. So you'll just see me here just fast forwarding, really just placing all those colors and trying to blend them together. I don't often use grease paints because you do have to set them because they move around a lot, but they do blend so well together, that's why I use them. So here I'm just taking a translucent powder and just placing this and really pushing it into the skin. As you can see, I'm not swiping it down because that would really make it move around. I'm really just pressing that powder into the skin to really help it to set. Now I'm going back to that black water activated paint and I'm really just putting these on the outer portions of the face to try and thin out that skeleton just a little bit more. Next, we're doing some shading. We're going to be using the Dark Matter shade from the Melt Cosmetics Dark Matter stack. It's just a matte black, so use whatever matte black that you have. But this makes the world of a difference. Look at the difference between the two sides there. Shading really does make a huge difference, and that's why I really recommend it, especially for this look. So as you can see, I'm going in with a detail brush. I believe this is just an eyeliner brush and then an eyeshadow brush. And I'm just blending it down and bringing that black a little bit lower, I'm really helping to create that dimension in, in the cheek area. Next, I'm outlining the teeth. Again, just using that black eyeshadow. This does not have to be perfect because, I mean, they're skeleton teeth. They're not perfect anyways. Next, I'm going back to the black and I'm just going to be kind of narrowing out exactly where I want the nose to be. I don't want it to be perfect because it is a broken skeleton. They're not gonna have perfect noses. So I'm using that detailed bit and I'm just gonna sharpen up the edges with a small eyeliner brush. Now I'm going in with some more eyeshadow, same one from before, and I'm just kind of detailing out, really creating some more dimension in the face. This whole skeleton is really about dimension and making it not look so one-dimensional and so flat. So I'm just going in between with the definer, just really making some creases, making some edges, and then blending it out and really creating some shadows. I'm just doing that all around places where I really feel that they, there would be deepness and darkness in the skeleton and we'll be later going into highlight as well. Next, as I mentioned, we're gonna go ahead and do some highlighting. We are taking the white grease paint from the Flash palette and I'm just placing these in the areas that would be the high points of the face. So we already focused on shading, now we're gonna do some highlighting. So every time that I put the white shade on, I'm then just gonna go over and really blend it out just so it doesn't look like a blob of paint. So as you can see, I'm just going in a little bit of product and then blending it out just to give it that really lightness and that highlights. So once I take a break here from highlighting, I'm going to go and draw some cracks on the forehead. I'm just using an eyeliner brush again and that black matte eyeshadow that we used earlier. I'm going in and doing some detail cracks now and then I'm going to go in with that eyeshadow brush and just shade a little bit more just to give it again some more dimension. You're going to hear the word dimension in this video probably a hundred times. So 
So since we spent so much time shading here, of course we now have to go in and highlight. I'm just taking that white cream paint and just drawing on the other side of the shades some highlights. So I'm going to place down the color and then I'm going to blend it out a little bit more. Again, placing it, blending it out, and that is the same process that I used pretty much throughout this entire tutorial. All right, next we're on to the body paints. So as you can see, I've already mapped out all of the bones, all the skeleton bones, just like I did with my face. And now I'm just going in and basically coloring in the lines, just like we're doing a coloring book. I just decided to use water activated paints just for these three bones here, but then for the rest of it, it's going to be that cream based from the Makeup Forever palette. So again, these three here are all water activated paints and I'm just filling in these areas and then I'm gonna move on to the rest of the bones. So right now all I'm doing is focusing on placing all the shades down. I'm not doing any highlighting or any shading that will all come at the end. So now I moved back to the cream paints. Again, this is from the Makeup Forever palette and I'm just using one color at a time. I'm just using an eyeshadow brush and I'm just placing all of the red first. Again, there's going to be three different colors on each of the bones. So I'm going to start with the red and then go to the next color and so forth. Next, I'm moving to the yellow, but do be careful when you're blending these two colors together because of course they make that beautiful orange that you see there, but I really wasn't going for the orange color. So I did have to go back over afterwards and put a little bit more yellow down, but just do the best that you can. I thought it looked really cool anyway. So if there's a little bit of orange in there, I don't think anyone's gonna mind. So as you can see here, again, I'm just placing that yellow cream based paint and moving on to the next color and so forth and so forth. And last but not least is the green. This is the last shade before we actually start defining all those bones and start highlighting and start shading. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let you watch me just basically fill in all the blanks. So once you are done with all of the filling in the blanks, we're going to go ahead and do the black. So we're moving back to that water activated paint from Mayron. I'm just using a larger brush. You might have to go over this a few times just to get that opaque, not streaky look, but that's fine. Just do all the detail work and then later you can go back and do a second layer. So I'm just using an eyeliner brush just to, again, make more definition in all the bones and really carve out that area. As you can see, I switched between three different brushes. There's a really large brush, a brush, a really detailed brush, and then a little bit bigger brush. All of them, honestly, it's whatever you feel comfortable using. I just want to use the smaller ones to define and then the larger ones to really cover the whole surface area of the entire shoulder area. Typically, I try and make my skeletons very anatomically correct. However, in this one, I did draw out those little triangle scapulas, but I did go against what I normally would do and decided to fill in those areas just because I thought that the skeleton looked so much nicer with all black background. So that's what you'll see me do for pretty much the rest of the video is filling in every single empty space there with the black Mehran paint. I would definitely say that this isn't hard to do, this part of it, but it is tedious. So as you can see, I'm just taking my time and filling in every single crevice that does not have a color on it. Now that we are almost done filling in all the blanks, now we're going to go ahead and do, of course, some highlighting shading. But first, you got to admire your masterpiece and then get to work. <laughs> so now I'm going in with the eyeshadow to use as the shading. That's the only color that we're using to shade in this entire tutorial. So then I'm going in and just shading all the areas that would cast a shadow. So as you can see, the tops of them would be casting that shadow from the bone above it and so forth. So just going to go ahead and let you watch and just show you where I shaded and then also defining each of the bones with the eyeshadow again. Mm -hmm. 
You want to make sure that you're shading underneath the bone because the bone would naturally be sh casting a shadow onto the bone underneath it. So that's basically what I'm doing is just going around and shading underneath each of the bones anywhere again where a shadow would naturally be casted. Now we're going to go back and do a little bit more highlighting. I'm just using that white shade from the Makeup Forever palette. And again, just placing that paint on there and then just blending it out just again so it's not a huge chunk of paint. Just really blending it in just to give it that highlighted effect. So once I've highlighted it, I'm then going to go in again with the black eyeshadow and just create these little cracks and little crevices. The face had these, so I thought that it would be nice to really do this on the body piece as well. I'm just going in and using that black eyeshadow with a pencil brush and creating all those little crevices. You know the drill, now that we did the cracks and the black eyeshadow, then we're going to go in with the white paint and just create some highlights. So after you're done with this step, you are done with the whole look. So you just throw on a fun afro wig. I got mine at Walmart. And this look is complete. So I love how this came out. I hope you do as well. If you do, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you guys so much for watching.